Welcome to episode 307, David E. Shaw, 8 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 307, lesson 1 to lesson 6. This is an outline of episode 307, lesson 6 to lesson 8. Lesson number 1, not work for money. He retired from day-to-day -day operation as CEO of his hedge fund in 2002 at the age of 51. Let me just start by uh, telling you a little bit about what we're doing at the Shaw Research. Uh, as Stan says, I abandoned uh, Wall Street about 11 years ago to spend full time on a, a problem or a set of problems that was intriguing to me as a computer scientist, even though I really had no background at that point. This is the name of the research company he founded. This is his favorite research topic, computational biochemistry. Lesson number two, not much experience is needed. He only had two years experience in computational finance, that is with Morgan Stanley, before he founded his own hedge fund, D. Shaw, in 1988. He then worked in the field of education at Columbia University, where he was on the faculty until 1986. At that point, he started working in computational finance or on financial computations. And in 1988, he founded D.E. Shaw. Lesson number three, he never talks about trading and his hedge fund. Despite being one of the most successful hedge fund manager, he never grant interview or talk about his hedge fund business. We just have to learn Shaw's method from outside. One of the reasons for this secrecy is proprietary algorithm, uh, as shown in this diagram. He doesn't want anybody else to know about it. Lesson number four, he is the father of speed quant. It is said he used computers that was 100 times faster than his competitors. Lesson number five, he's one of the pioneer of quant trading. The first one who started quant trading was James Simmon, who started Renaissance Technologies in 1982. David E. Shaw is the second he started the D.E. Shaw Hedge Fund in 1988. There's a difference of six years. One of the biggest differences is they begin to hire computers and math majors instead of finance majors. Lesson number six, the D.E. Shaw Mafia are some of the richest and smartest in the world. The richest of the D.E. Shaw Mafia is of course Jeff Bezos founder of Amazon and the richest man in the world in 2018. Here is the rest of the D.E. Shaw Mafia. Well, if I have to compare the D.E. Shaw Mafia with the PayPal Mafia, the D.E. Shaw Mafia is a lot richer. Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and Reid Hoffman made up the PayPal Mafia. Lesson number seven, how to dominate the back end. D.E. Shaw India was founded in 1996 to do quantitative research. Lesson number eight, David E. Shaw is the master of delegation. This is really the secret how he could retire at the age of 51. In order to retire from day-to-day -day operation of his hedge fund, he created a six-person executive committee. These are the name of the six person in the executive committee. The firm is managed by an executive committee whose members have worked together for more than a decade. The executive committee is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the firm and all aspects of the firm's investment activities. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.